Question number eight, taken from June 2014, Advanced Level Maths HSC P3. Let fx is equal to 6 plus 6x over bracket 2 minus x times brackets 2 plus x to the square. Express fx in the form a over 2 minus x plus bx plus c over 2 plus x square. Hence, we have to show that um, the integral of fx dx uh, with limits from minus 1 to 1 is equal to 3 ln 3. So, this is partial fraction. How are we going to do this? Alright, question number 8, first part. What we have is fx is equal to 6 plus 6x over 2 minus x times 2 plus x squared. Right, so what are we going to do with this? We're going to say that this can be equal to a over 2 minus x um, plus b x plus c over 2 plus x to the square. Right, so if we multiply this with that, the 2 minus x, 2 minus x goes out, we have 6 plus 6x six is equal to a, because this is going out, we're left with this. Therefore, a times 2 plus x to the square, plus bx plus c in brackets, this one goes out with this one. Therefore, we're left with this one. So, times 2 minus x. Right. Now, from here, we can say let x is equal to, if we want, 2. So, 2. Therefore, 6, 6 plus 6x, six, 6 times 2 is 12. 12 plus 6 is 18. So, we have 18 is equal to a times 2 here to the square is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. A times 6. 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 times this is going to be 0. Therefore, we have 6a is equal to 18. Therefore, a is going to be 18 divided by 6, which is 3. Right. Then, we can say let x is equal to 0, if you, will, if you wish. So, 0 times 6 is 0, so plus 6 is 6. 6 is equal to 0 here, plus 2 is 2, 2 times a is 2a. Right, 0 here, 2 minus 0 is 2, 0 here, 0 plus times b is 0, 0 plus c is c, c times 2, right, so we're going to have plus um, 2c. Now we know that a is equal to 3, therefore 2 times 3 is equal to 6, isn't it? 2 times 3 plus 2c is equal to 6. So that gives us um, 2 times two, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 goes on the other side, becomes 6 minus 6 here is equal to 2c, leading to c is equal to 0. Now, we can say let x is equal to 1. Alright, so 1 times 6 is 6, 6 plus 6 is 12. We have 12 is equal to 1 to the square is 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 times a is 3a. Then we have 1 times b is b, plus c is c, 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 times b plus c is b plus c, plus b plus c. Right, so from here, what can we do? We know that a is equal to 3, so we can say 12 is equal to 3 times 3 is 9, plus b, c is 0, so that disappears. So we're left with b is equal to 12. Send it down on the other side becomes minus. 12 minus 9 is 3. So we have b is equal to 3. Now, we can write fx is equal to, <coughs> the value of a has been found to be 3. So 3 over 2 minus x. Right, there we go. 2 minus x. And then we have plus bx plus c, b is 3, so we have 3x plus c is 0 over 2 plus x to the square. This is simply um, 3 over 2 minus x plus 3x over 2 plus x squared. Here we are for the first part.
expressed as partial fractions. Now, for the second part, we need to show that the integral of um, fx dx is equal to 3 ln 3 with limits from minus 1 to 1. So this is exactly the same as integrating fx. We'll be integrating this, these two expressions here. So we can say integral of 3 over 2 minus x plus 3x over 2 plus x squared all of that with respect to x. Okay, so how are we going to integrate this? And this one is clear. Um, 1 minus 1. If we integrate 3 over 2 minus x, we're going to get 3. Um, okay, let, let me remove the integral sign because I'm integrating straight away. So integrating this is going to end up with 3. But then minus here, if you differentiate this, you're going to get minus 1 minus 1 times 3 is minus 3 and then you take the natural logarithm of 2 minus x. So that's the first part. Now this one, what do we recall? We recall that integration of f dash x over fx dx is equal to the natural logarithm of the modulus of fx plus c. So what can we do with this one? We can try to integrate this separately the 3 can go outside the integral sign. We're going to be left with x over 2 plus x squared dx. Now, this one is the derivative of that, like f dash x. If we differentiate this, we're going to get 2x. So we're going to have, made this, we're going to, have to make this 2 here. How are we going to make this 2? It's by saying that 3 times the integral of 2x, I'm going to put 2 there, over 2 plus x squared dx. But I must put a 2 here because the 2, 2 goes out and left with x again. So therefore, it is 3 over 2 and the in, uh, natural logarithm of 2 plus x to the square dx. Well, if you... Okay, that's fine. There we go. <coughs> okay, so we're going to have to say plus 3 over 2 times 2 plus x squared. We have to rearrange this, make it a little, bit, a little bit neat, and therefore we're going to say 3 over 2 times 2 plus, sorry, ln 2 plus x squared minus 3 ln 2 minus x. We'll put the limits, minus 1 and 1. So that's just a question of substituting now. We have 3 over 2 ln, 2 plus x squared, x is, so this one's supposed to be minus 1, 1, crazy me, <laughs> sorry about that, so minus 2, we're going to start with a higher limit, 1, if we put 1 here, 1 to the square is 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, so we have ln 3, minus 3 ln, if we put 1 here, 2 minus 1 is 1, and therefore we have 3 ln 1, minus, 3 over 2 ln, if you put minus, this is minus 1 now, minus 1 here, it's going to become plus 1, because minus 1 to the square is plus 1, plus 1 plus 2 is plus 3, so plus 3, okay, minus 3 ln 2 minus x, x is minus 1, 2 minus minus 1 is going to be 3, here we are, now, this 3 over 2 3 over 2 ln 3 minus 3 over 2 ln 3. So that goes out. What is this? ln 1 is 0, right? So we're left with 0. Minus, minus 3 ln 3. So minus minus becomes plus. We end up with 3 ln 3. And here we are. The integral of fx dx with limits from minus 1 to 1 has been shown to be 3 ln 3. That's it.